Well, opposition indeed for Keith Connor of England. Second round of the triple jump, and no jump in the first, but he does hold the United Kingdom all comers record of 17 metres and 46, set at the Crystal Palace when he beat Keith Connor in mid August. He's a 17 metre plus jumper, very strong, and he's on the board there, and that is a superb start. That's a very big jump indeed by Loraway, the three A's champion, the Australian champion. Fourth in the 1978 games, but that's all changed here. Very fast, very flat, two arm shift, double arm shift in the middle, good control, and he gets into the jump very well indeed, and that surely is over 17 metres. The lead at the moment held by Aston Moore at 16 metres and 76. 17 metres and 42 centimetres for Loraway, and that is going to take a lot of beating indeed. A new Commonwealth Games record is taken Connor's record set in 1978 in the second round. Keith Connor, second round of the triple jump, responding to a mighty 1742, and that's a big jump! That's a very big jump indeed. 1742 he had to follow. He lost it just a little bit out of the second phase, but he really is a great competitor. Unstrapping that ankle, which has given him so much trouble, hits the board, controls it well in the middle, and is very close to the edge of the pit on the second phase. And that is going to be over 17 metres, but is it far enough? 17 metres and 72! 17 metres and 72, a new Commonwealth record, and that is the most incredible piece of jumping that I've seen. 3.8 metres the following win, but 17 metres and 72 is extraordinary. Loraway, the fourth round of the triple jump, and his response to Keith Connor, and it's a very big response indeed. Loraway has an Australian record of 17.46. 17.42 he jumped in the second round, 17.40 in the third. Keith Connor then jumped 17.72, and look at that. Superb piece of control at the end. The wind speed above the legal limit, plus 3.2 metres per second. And uh, Keith Connor missed his third round jump. 17 metres and 54. It's his best ever performance, but it won't count as a record. The wind is too strong. Keith Connor, the fourth round of the triple jump, leading with the second best jump of all time, 17 metres and 72. The wind behind him. Oh, and he's almost in the pit on that one. That's an enormous jump, and it's close to the world record marker. Limp away he may, but that is, I think, even further. He applauds himself eventually. And this man, who dominates the world in triple jumping this year, has set, I think, a new Commonwealth Games record. The height is good on the first round, or first phase. Controls it well in the middle. Look at that jump on the end. 17 metres and 81 centimetres, 58 feet, five and a quarter, the greatest jump at sea level of all time. Staggering leap there by Connor, but the record's ruled out, uh, I'm afraid, because of the following win. But that is indeed the second uh, longest of all time and the longest at sea level, apparently. So gold uh, for Keith Connor.